Hello friends and welcome to another video. Today I'm talking about my thoughts on 13 Reasons Why. And you're probably like, Gabs, this is really old, like people have already heard about this stuff. I know, but I wanted to look at it before, after the hype of it and also because my boyfriend recommended that I should, so there, I did it. Either way, we're just gonna get into this. Okay, well my first thing that I really, 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 really disliked was the character Bryce. And not because of what he does in the show, but because it is so not believable to me that he is in high school at all. If you don't know what he looks like or you don't know who I'm talking about, I'll put a little picture right there. And pretty much, I think it's the first episode, he, Justin, the one character Justin's crashing with him at his like pool house, whatever. And like the Bryce character acts very like brotherly in a sense. I thought legitimately that Bryce was his older brother, like Justin's older brother. And I was like, wait, this kid's in high school? He's supposed to be in high school? I don't believe it. And I have not believed it since. <sighs> We're going to start right at the beginning, because that's where I started. And I started on episode three. That's where I started taking notes and really thought stuff was important. And I think it's Alex tape, but I could be wrong. Could be wrong. And I'm pretty sure Hannah says this, but again, could be wrong. It says, but the little things matter. And I think that is the overarching theme of this whole show, is that one little thing can lead to one big thing in the end. And people are like, oh, why did this happen? But it's like, you know... Hannah made them realize, hey, like, what you guys said and what you guys did led to these consequences and made me feel this way, and that's what ended my life. That's what I took from it. Could be wrong. The next episode I talked about was episode six, and Clay points out being, that he could be a bully, and then his mom's like, no, I, you're not like that. And I think that's so, so, so important to this show because... You know, when you, you kind of have, like, different personalities with the people you're around. So, like, with your friends, you don't have the same personality that you do with your grandma or your mom. You know, and sometimes you almost, almost not on purpose, but you kind of create this, like, false perception of yourself to, to whatever group you're in. And I think that's so important because your mom's only seeing, like, one mask of you, one side of you. I believe this part's from episode 7. I don't know, though, because I just put a 7. So, hopefully that's what I meant. And it's the scene where the teacher is reading the note from Hannah that she wrote on the napkin. And this one kid is literally like, ooh, like, I, do, I deal with stuff or I hate my life or whatever. Something about, like, everyone's going through stuff, like, hard stuff too. Just get over it is pretty much what he says. And this rubbed me the wrong way at first. I was like, wow, who can be so cold? Like, yeah, like, everyone's dealing with stuff. But, like, being so, like, cruel like that is hard. But then I realized this is high school. People are so ruthless. And they're like, whatever. Like, just get over it. And they just, like, don't realize the impact that their words have on them. Okay, so this is from episode 12. I jumped super, super far. But 12 I really liked because it made a very accurate representation of like what happens with rape like guys are like oh it just like doesn't happen and, and like girls if it's rape then every girl wants it that's something what Bryce says of roughly around and you know in Hannah's position at first I was thinking I was like why didn't she just like go to the hospital and like get a rape kit and I was talking and after I thought it out too I was talking with my boyfriend he was like well, you know like people could be embarrassed about by it stuff like that and like sometimes you just don't know like oh did I egg it on and I think that was a very good portrayal of it and of the situation what might be going through someone's head. So episode 13, there's a part where Hannah, I think she says it on the tapes, I'm not 100% sure, where she says everyone broke a part of her, pretty much, like someone broke her soul and all the other parts of her. And I think that's important because, you know, in the moment a lot of people are just like, don't think like what they did is so big to that person, but you know, sometimes you have to think beside yourself and what you've said and think about what that person has gone through. And it's very hard to, you know, reflect outwards and onto other people. I've definitely been in that ugh, position before. <laughs> okay, so this line really hit home for me. And it's Clay leaving the counselor's office. He says it has to get better how we treat each other. And I think that's so, 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 so true and super important about the show is, you know, it's very easy to think about me, 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 me. Like little kids ever since like think me, 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 me. And then when you go back into your teenage years, you think very egocentrically, like what about me, blah, 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 blah. And that's kind of where you are in this high school thing is, you know, people just worry about their perception of how people view them in the world. It's all about what do people think of me? And that's all that is important and I think what Clay was trying to say with those if we had taken the time to look what's happening with Hannah and try to help her from that scene I think we can all learn a lot and take from it is and I think the takeaway from the whole show is you know your little action may seem nothing to you and literally by itself seems like nothing and a very little thing but if you like look back at like Hannah's tapes and her story of her life 
you see that before Hannah transferred to this school, like, she had problems before with other people, and this kind of was, like, her escape, and stuff like that. And, you know, slowly but surely, these interactions just added up and added up and added up, and she just lost touch with seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. The light at the end of the tunnel. And that happens to a lot of people, and it's truly sad. Um, but if one of those people, like Clay says all the time, if one of them could have helped her, maybe she'd still be alive today. And then, my very last thought on episode 13, I'm kind of backtracking a little bit in this episode, um, was the counselor. Oh, the counselor scene with Hannah where the Clay's flashing back or kind of showing what happens with Hannah and the counselor, where he was, like, talking about, like, Hannah kind of brings up the topic of rape and what happened with her and Bryce. And the one thing that really annoyed me was I felt this counselor, like, didn't know what to say to her ever. And I know it's, like, a hard thing to talk about, but the fact that, like, he was just like, if you're not going to talk to me about it, then, like, give me, like, an example of, like, what grade are they in? She's, like, a senior. And then he was like, you know, like, they'll just leave. Like, yes, they leave, but the rumors stay. And that's the overarching theme about the whole thing. Oh, my God, I just came up with a... Mm. Like, yeah, the people may go, the memories may fade, but this, like, the reminders and the rumors are still formulate. Go through that school, you know, like, the next incoming freshman class is going to know what happened with Hannah Baker and what she has done and what she's known for. And that is why things need to be addressed. And the counselor didn't do that. And I was, like, I was very upset. Because <laughs> I thought the counselor was like, you know what, whatever. The senior, she's just going to leave. It's like, but the problem and the feelings that you have towards that situation aren't. That's the overarching theme, Mr. Counselor Man. I forgot your name. Either way, I hope you enjoyed my thoughts and my little bit of a rant of 13 Reasons Why. If you did, be sure to like it. And if you like living with gabs, be sure to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, friends. I wish there was no tomorrow. But I'm busy, it's